once saved, always saved is no such thing. Okay, if once saved, always saved, if you're living up to the standard that God has set from the time you've given your life to Christ. Yes, 100%. However, if you, when you gave your life to Christ, when you came into covenant and you said, listen, I make you Lord and my Savior, and then you go, you went out and you start to bet necessarily doing what you were doing, but you were unrepentant, you weren't sorry, um, you, you, you're not considered saved. You're not considered a, a person of, you know, of the kingdom. Now, if you were not did what you did and you repented, Lord, I'm really like really came to God with a broken heart and a contrite spirit. Listen, we have some things we can work on, but just imagine getting married. OK, and then the next week or so you go out and you cheat on your spouse and you keep going out, you cheat on your spouse. And that it has just, just become a lifestyle for you. How, how, how secure is your relationship? How, how, how sacred is your relationship? Look at that as your relationship with God. When you first got saved, look at the lifestyle that you lived afterwards. Was it up to the standard that a spouse, someone you married and committed your life to forever? Is that is did you live up to that standard when you said, "Lord, I accept you as my Lord and Savior?" If not, my friend, you are not saved. If not, you need to rededicate yourself to God. If not, you need to turn from your wicked ways, repent, and turn back to the only one true and living God. Because my friend, once saved, always saved will not get you into heaven. Okay? Once saved, always saved, but still living a life that is not, you know, conducive to the standard that God has set will not get you into heaven. You will Lord, Lord before him and he'll say, get away from me. I never knew you. We never consummated what it is we had because you went out and you, you, you didn't make me Lord. You didn't make me, Lord. So if I was you, I would rededicate my life to Christ. I would repent, rededicate my life to Christ, and turn back to him and say, Lord, Lord, listen, I'm sorry, truly sorry. And give, rededicate your life back to him. He loves you.